Welcome to the Prophecy Historian Integration with Simplicity video. Our objectives are to be able to log historical data from a Simplicity SCADA node, verify that, that data is being collected within Prophecy Historian, and create a simple historical trend chart using Prophecy Historian data. We'd also like to be able to understand how Simplicity interacts with managing the historical tag and what, under what conditions the historian administrator could manage those tags. Our assumptions are that you have Historian Standard 5.5 installed and Simplicity 9.0. I have a Simplicity project up here and if we want to connect up to Prophecy Historian and start to log some of the points in this project we simply go to our Project tab here select properties and select the historian OPC interface. We'd also like to log Larman events you can select that as well. This creates a new historian tab in our project properties. By clicking on this tab we can see that we can enter the name of the server where our historian is installed. Currently my historian is installed on the same computer that my simplicity is installed on. Of course, you can install your historian collector anywhere you would like on your network. To test our connection with our historian server, we simply click the test button here. We can see that we've got a message back that says the connection to the historian server was good. We can also check to see how our alarm is connected, and we've got a good connection there as well. Now that we've enabled our historian connection, we simply go into our points on our simplicity and pick the points that wish to log to historian. Let's say I want to log my tank level point. I double click on level to bring up the point properties for my tank level. And I now have a checkbox here that says log to historian. So by selecting that, that will start logging to historian. Let's do a couple more. Maybe we want to log our inlet rate and our outlet rate. Once we've made those project changes, I'll update the configuration on my project and we'll start our Simplicity project. And we see the different processes starting up as Simplicity gets going. Now that it's up and running, let's go open our historian administrator and take a look at what collectors we have out there. I'm going to refresh the list and we can now see that in our collectors we have the Simplicity HMI OPC server collector running. We can also see we have the OPC alarm and events collector running. Let's go over and look at some of the tags that we set up. Here are the tags that we have created. There's my inlet rate, my level, and my outlet rate. Those are the three tags that I created to be logged within Historian. If I right click on my tank level value here, I can say show me the last 10 values. And there they are, and you can see that the value quality is good. So very quickly we can verify that the points that we've selected within Simplicity are actually being logged in Prophecy Historian. Simplicity controls the collection rate at a default with the OPC. If we want to now create a simple trend chart using this historical data, we'll go back to our screens right click create a new screen and under our drawing tab we will drop in our trend chart tool. We'll resize the trend chart to take up most of our screen here and then double click on it to bring up the control properties. We want to create a new line and we're going to change our line type here from point down to historian. So this will be a historian collected line. 
You'll notice that Use Connections is checked. This is using the connections and the credentials that we set up on the Historian tab under the Project Properties. From here, I simply need to go out and search for the tags that I have in Prophecy Historian. Let's trend our tank level value. Double click on that, and we have that set up to trend. Now let's go over to our axes, and let's change our Y axis to red, and we'll label it level. We'll scale this level from 0 to 10,000. And we'll add a few ticks to our line. Now we can see we have our scale from 0 to 10,000 and it's labeled level. Next we need to map the line to its axis. So I highlight that and we chart it on the x-axis over here, y-axis over here. We hit OK, and under our chart, we have an auto-update interval that we can use for historical trending. And I want to update it every second. And I'm also going to go back to my lines and turn on the auto-update. We hit OK to accept that, and then we'll adjust some of our sliders here so that we can read the text and the slider values. From here let's test our screen by clicking on our light bulb icon. We can see that we have the historical data is being logged and we can see the value updating on our slider value. We can also see that new, tag, new information is being added at the update interval of one second that we set up within Simplicity. And that's how you set up a simple historian trend chart within Simplicity. Some of the takeaways I'd like to talk about is that starting in Simplicity version 9, you actually get two checkboxes under your point properties if you would like to log data to SQL or historian, or both for that matter. And you can check those on your point properties depending upon what you would like to do there. Simplicity also uses the default OPC collector settings for setting collection rates. If you choose to enable historical logging under the properties within Simplicity Project, the tags being added to Historian are controlled by Simplicity. If any Historian tags are added for this collector in the Historian Administrator, they become disabled when Simplicity starts the project. If you wish to control your tags and add tags via the Historian Administrator and not use the Simplicity, simply disable that under the project properties and Historian can manage its own tags and they can easily be created through the standard OPC collector interface. Thanks for watching this video.